I'd love to, to just kind of start with some data sure. and, you know, about pets and um, what's the importance of allowing pets in the property and all that good stuff. So I'll let you take it away. Well, thank you, TJ. The The numbers tell the story. You said earlier you're a numbers person and I'm a numbers person. Well, you said you're a data person. Uh, and so I'm a data and, and I, I love stats. Uh, so the essence of this issue is that 70% of homes in the country have pets or animals in them. Wow. And to, to put that into perspective, only 27% of the homes have children. So homes are far more likely to have pets than they are uh, someone in the home under the age of 18. And, you know, so we're talking not about not only the population in the homes, but we're talking about the challenges that renters face. And so 72% of renters say finding pet friendly, truly pet friendly housing is hard. And then at the same time, 92% of renters agree pets are really important members of their family. And you wouldn't believe TJ, the stats on millennials. Millennials are kind of our sweet spot in the industry because the average renter is 39 years old and millennials right now are 26 to 41. And so I'm going to, I'm going to stop and ask a question. TJ, do you have pets at home? Uh, two, two dogs, two dogs. So millennials, 75% of millennials, uh, in their thirties own a dog. Really? Yes. And 50% of the millennials in their thirties own a cat. And so I've got three cats at my house. You have two dogs at yours, right? And so there's no one under 18 in my home. Is there anyone under 18 in yours? Uh, there are. There right? Are. So both. say again. So I hit both, two dogs, two kids. Yes, you hit. Two, you definitely hit both. Uh, but again, 75% of the millennials in their 30s have a dog and 50% of them have a cat. Uh, and you know, the pet population in the country is you know, over 230 million cats and dogs in more than 137 million households. Oh and so this is just really, the prevalence of this is just really, really high. I wonder how that number has changed, um, coming out of COVID. I, I had heard that a lot of places, you know, which is a good thing, had a lot of adoptions. A lot of yeah. these shelters had adoptions. And so I'd be curious to know what that was before, not, you know, that you have the data, but like what it was before and after. And, um, but I do think it speaks to the even more so the importance of landlords allowing residents to have pets because it's just a reality. I mean, 70%. It is a reality. And, you know, I do actually have uh, a little bit of the data to what you're talking about because we had done a survey uh, around that time. And of the folks that we surveyed, if I'm remembering correctly, I think 26% of the pet owning apartment residents say they acquired their pet during the pandemic. <clears throat> and in 2021, 19% of the non-pet owning residents said they intended to get one in the coming year. Wow. So there was a lot of adoptions back then. And I know there's a lot of shelters you know, focusing on retention now and probably behavioral classes and trying to help people hang on to those animals that they welcomed into their family. 